Okay, welcome back everybody. Orange Track Outlaws again. Today we are going to tackle the Diecast Graveyard Halloween Hearse Challenge. So what we got here is the uh, standard Hot Wheels 8 crate. And I thought this would be a great donor car to turn this thing into some crazy Halloween Hearse. I uh, don't really have a big plan for this uh, at the beginning of this build. Um, I'm just going to uh, try to basically build as I go. Uh, I do want to put some LED lights in here. Somehow incorporate some LED lights into this thing. I'm um, thinking, you know, dark purple kind of candy with a candy black uh, paint job. And uh, I'm thinking some kind of a coffin in the back or whatnot. But... Uh, we're going to dive into this thing and kind of see where this build takes us and it should be cool. So let's get started here. We have our Hot Wheels 8 crate. Uh, pretty cool little casting here. I think actually you can do um, a lot of different things with this thing. Um, you know paint wise there's a lot of there's a lot of body space. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of other things I think you can do, you know, as far as lowering it, maybe some LED lights. Uh, you can chop it, you know, if you want to put it into some kind of a, like a drag car or something, but today it's going to be hers. <clears throat> so what we're going to do, as usual, we're going to start off by drilling our posts out, get this thing taken apart, see what we got to work with here, and uh, get diving into getting her stripped down and repainted and uh, all the other build parts so we got our post um, drilled out you gotta make sure uh, you pop out the little the little ring there to get it loose and uh, luckily this one only got the one in the front and then it'll kind of lift off pop right out we'll see what we got to work with here uh, fortunately there's a lot of plastic involved uh, except for the body which uh, there's a lot to work with here <coughs> we got uh, crazy a crazy kind of windshield um, with that with that rear I'm not quite sure that with the with the back window or whatever I'm gonna do with that and this thing's the interior has got the motor in the back and it's kind of goofy that way I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it plastic uh, body or base here uh, definitely gonna do a wheel swap on this guy and uh, we're gonna throw we're gonna throw our interior into some super clean and uh, get that thing stripped down but here's a good look uh, as as usual in my videos of what uh, what our body looks like when it comes out of the sandblaster it's got a little haze residue kind of on it so we're going to throw it in the uh, in our little our little box here with our wire wheel we're going to get all that cleaned up and should give us a nice uh, nice surface to work with here as far as paint and whatnot goes uh, we don't have to do much here as far as prepping, uh, at least getting a nice body. Uh, we're going to clean it up with the wire wheel. Uh, we're going to clean it off with some soap and water and uh, probably a little degreaser there and get it all cleaned up and get it ready for some primer. Uh, no Spectra Flame, so don't have to do any polishing. So here's a look uh, after it's done with the wire wheel. It's not too bad. Uh, it does have a little bit of pitting on there, even though it is new. Uh, must have had the paint on uh, from the factory. Must have been pretty heavy there. But what we did here, guys, I've got a crazy little motor swap I'm going to do. So I went and cut the hood out. And um, you can see here, it was kind of a pain in the neck. But I did get, I got my, my Dremel tool and just basically chopped the hood out. Uh, got the uh, file and trimmed it all down nice and smooth. Um, got to do a little test fitting here just to make sure everything's going to fit in, in the, with the front. Um, I do got this cool little motor that I thought was like a sinister looking hearse, kind of ghoulish hearse thing. I thought would look pretty sick inside this thing. So that's what I'm going to try to fit in there somehow. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get that to work yet. Uh, unfortunately, chopping the hood out is chopping off the front post. We're going to have to deal with that in a little bit too. So you can take a look at my interior here and it's all black now. We got all the chrome stripped off with the super clean. I got the motor cut out in the middle like you can see there. And the initial plan here was to glue 
somewhat of a coffin in the back here and here's a good look at it it took some styrene cut it up and took a little putty to try to smooth the edges out a little bit i'm gonna have to sand that up before i paint it um, what i wanted to do here was to hide the uh, battery and the wiring for the leds in that coffin i'd hope i'd be able to tuck it all up in there um, but you'll be able to see a little bit down the road that it, it's it didn't work out as planned unfortunately um, good idea just just didn't really work but all in all I still like the coffin idea um, being a hearse and all I think that's gonna look pretty sweet back there so you can see I got the motor all cut down and whatnot and then got that thing fitting in there in the engine bay so that does fit and I'm kinda liking how it's looking there uh, all we got to do is, uh, you know, we got that thing mounted to our interior, basically just super glued it together, and it fit actually pretty good. So we're going to take our interior here, and we're going to prime the crap out of it. Really, we got um, we got a lot of different colors and things going on here, so we're going to bring out some uh, some white primer rattle can this time. Um, try to get this you know everything as much as possible covered up and all uniform and it's going to take a couple coats uh, I know you guys if anyone's tried to prime over you know red or paint anything over red it's kind of a pain in the butt it does take a little while but we're gonna give it you know a couple coats see if we can't lay it on a little thicker after that first one and see what happens so onto our body here uh, first thing we're going to do is throw down some primer. So we're going to go with our Createx Autoborn Sealer White. Um, we're going to add a little 4012 reducer. We're going to turn this thing down to high 20s, about 30 PSI. And we're going to go in, light coat, and try to uh, not have any extra splatter. Try to avoid our dry tip as usual. And we're going to come in with probably at least another two more coats and get full coverage as much as possible um, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna lay some purple on this later so I wanted that to, I wanted that kind of sparkle purple to pop later so I wanted it over some white sealer I thought that would be you know the best bet as opposed to putting over black and then have that kind of that dark base for the dark purple to be over dark and it was I'm already going to coat it with candy later, so I didn't want all that dark, so I thought the white would be the best to go with. So, coverage is actually looking pretty good here. Uh, everything's looking white. Um, I think I, I laid it on heavy enough that it kind of filled in all the pits. Um, that's what I'm going to go back and do here, just to make sure, this will probably be coat 3, just to make sure that the body looks smooth and like there's no defects to it and, and you can see earlier in the video the, the, the minor pitting and whatnot so I'm gonna lay it on pretty thick here for the third coat and try to get all that covered up and hopefully it'll even out and be uh, good to go when it's time to lay some color down so I think we're good everything looks good I think we're coated good let that guy dry up a little bit and we're gonna move on to some color and we're gonna start with some opaque purple and we're going to put a little 4030 in that for some flow. We're going to thin it out with a little 4012 as usual. And we're going to get, this is uh, for base coat. That's what we're going to start with. And we're going to cover this whole guy up in some opaque purple. And then we're going to play around with some other with some other paints here and, and go for some different effects. But as far as the purple goes, it goes on pretty easy. Createx does a great job of putting the directions on the bottle uh, as far as uh, you know PSI and mixing with thinner and whatnot. So basically, you follow directions on there, <coughs> you should be good to go. So I think to get, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, to get the full uh, effect here on the color, uh, I think it's going to take at least three coats here. So we're on coat two. Uh, I'm going to start laying it on a little thicker after our uh, initial tack coat there. And uh, make sure this thing's got a lot of, it's got a lot of corners, and it's got a lot of windows, and it's got a lot of, you know, crazy angles. So, you know, constantly got to be 
turning this thing and getting underneath it and around it and you know try to get all the window wells and all that crap so you just got to keep working with it and lay it on and uh, coat two laid on pretty good and I got some pretty good coverage I think uh, coat three here ought to get this thing the nice deep purple that I wanted to start with for my base coat and I think it ought to be about good so everything's looking good uh, this purple is gonna be pretty sweet um, plan is to lay a little candy on this guy later and we'll, we'll get to that but uh, as far as our, our base coat I think our purple is pretty uh, even and I think we'll be able to move on here in the next step which is gonna be pearl and some kind of crazy sparkle so I'm gonna go with pearl purple and I'm gonna put some candy black in there to darken it up a little bit and we're gonna put a little deep purple candy in there too uh, I want to maintain that I want to maintain that purple and I gotta add some hot rod sparkle that's really gonna make a I'm gonna make that pearl pop it's gonna really be shiny when I get a light on it when it's all done uh, 4030 uh, for flow and obviously 4012 to thin it out and you can see there in my, my little cup you can see uh, all the sparkle in there which is really what I'm going for here I want I want this thing to I want this thing to really pop really sparkle when the light hits it so we're gonna lay this down and see uh, see if the idea actually works so I did put candy black in here and that was basically if, if you ever tried candy black by itself it looks a little purple so I put in deep purple because I'm going for a dark purple look I want to darken it up more than that opaque purple but what I, st I, but I still want just a little bit of that purple look and I'm gonna come back in the end and, and just and just miss some candy black over it and I really I want that I want that black effect when you look at it one way when it's black turn it into the light and you can see all that that purple and that sparkle come through so kind of the effect that we're going for here but uh, right now we're in the middle of coat two with all our with our pearl purple and our hot rod sparkle and it's really kind of hard to see spraying the sparkle like that that it's uh that it's actually getting on there but it trust me it is it's going on good i think uh, we're going for coat three and usually that's usually that's about enough you can you can kind of see I know the lights are not the best in my cabinet here but you can kind of you can see that it's getting darker by the coat as opposed to that um, that pearl base coat or that uh, sorry that opaque purple base coat which is what we want we want darker we want darker after all it's a sinister looking hearse that's what we're going for so now it's time to throw a little of this candy um, candy black on here um, and we're just going to try to mist it around not going heavy we don't want to lose the purple but we want it to it's almost like a color shift uh, I want it to look black at some point and turn it in the light and you can see all that purple and that sparkle and you can really kind of see just by missing it a little bit right here um, that that black's actually taken over a little bit and you look at it in the light and you can see the purple so that's what we're looking for that's the effect we're going for and really um, about about two good coats is, is going to do it so here's a look at our uh, at our body here after we're all done and cleared up and I did add a little bit of chrome detail uh, I'm going to put the light on there and you can see some of that sparkle really pop and there's that purple look and that pearl but you can see when you turn it it does turn black and that's kind of what we're going for we want that we want that black to purple look so I think that body turned out uh, amazing um, couldn't have been happier um, we did uh, we did look at adding some headlights and it didn't really work out so much for the interior I wanted a I wanted a purple glow in the interior but it just it didn't work out as planned I couldn't figure out how to or where to put the lights and whatnot and so as far as the wiring goes really had some issues 
putting that thing and tucking it up into the coffin it just didn't fit and the coffin has ended up hitting the top of the body so it really just didn't work out that well so what we're going to do is we're basically going to basically going to hide that battery underneath the interior and it should fit well it's going to be tight and we're going to have to cram it but we did cut a little hole in the base out for our on off switch and just uh, after we get this thing wired up I do have a little bit extra wire in here we'll trim that down and get it all uh, soldered up and here's a look at what we uh, ended up with after it's all soldered up and we got our battery hooked up we got our lights um, basically it's going to be a purple you know, like a purple glow like ground effect look two lights in the bottom they're working on and off switches working batteries working so uh, we have our interior all painted up we have our motor chromed out with some purple headers I got some red seats going we have our uh, we have our coffin all trimmed out in gold with some black we got the chrome bumpers going so final assembly time and trying to get this thing put back together is gonna be it's gonna be a hassle but we're just gonna have to keep testing and tuning basically and cramming that thing in there and we'll be ready for our final reveal but first we're gonna take a quick step back see where we started with and this is our my basically our stock Hot Wheels 8 crate um, not much going on here um, but huge transformation and this is what we ended up with is our little sinister eight crate dark candy black purple hearst this thing is looking better than way better than expected got that cool little motor on there uh, we got some neon lights going in there we got the coffin going in there um, as you can see one problem i did have was with that was with that stupid windshield thing um, i just i tried and tried and i couldn't get the rear part of that to fit with that coffin in there it was catching and I was trimming and thinning and just it wasn't working got fed up with it tossed it out so we're just gonna go with it as is right now I may come back to it later but for now I think we're good to go um, here's a quick look at the neon underneath the lights we turn this guy on it's got that purple neon glow on the bottom this thing rolling down the streets gonna look like a little ghoulish hearse which is the great idea yeah, I think it, I think the thing looks sweet so back to uh you know i flashed the light on a little bit you guys should be able to see that that uh that hot rod sparkle pop off um you know off the black and it, it, it absolutely does and it looks amazing uh, i want to thank you guys for watching my video i want to thank diecrass graveyard for putting this challenge on this is this was a fun one i can't wait to see everybody else's i bet they're going to look cool please check them all out and check out all my other customs guys got a lot going on the races are fun and uh thanks again for watching see you guys next time